All righty, good evening, Griffins. My name is Darren Brinks, and joining me for this great stream, Paula Villavicencio. We have our very own Griffin Esports participating in the Peach Belt Conference, going up against Converse. And, and might I add, My. this is the Overwatch Peach Belt Conference. So, not League of Legends, not nothing else, specifically Overwatch. And we got two games today, but the first game is going to be up against Converse. And Converse right now is 4 and 0, and Griffin Esports is 4 and 1. So, both teams are looking to place first and climb that. That Amazing. standing ladder. Yes. Paula, how you feeling? I'm feeling right. All right. Sure thing. All right. Well, <laughs> perfect, short, sweet, and yeah. simple answer. So if we can, let's go ahead and look at some of our players here, and we'll go ahead and go through the rundown. All As right. you can see, all the way on that left side there, we'll start off with our supports. We have Orsonix ready to go, smiling, joyful as ever. <laughs> Moving on down, on over to the right, we have Mitya Nova, very focused, the... <laughs> <laughs> the lady of few emotions, I'd have to say. Honestly. <laughs> now moving on over towards the center, we go into our DPS, and there is Jo. They're absolutely a uh, uh, great part and aspect of this team. They've been here for a while, and they've improved a lot. So that's good. That'll Let's move sure, on yes. over. We go on to our, I believe this is our tank player, which is weird because I noticed that one of our tanks and DPS just love swapping spots on where they're sitting. <laughs> it's a little weird. <laughs> but yes, we do see I am also Kroot, one of the new tank players for Griffin Esports. They are definitely learning and learning fast. Probably, yes. I want to say most improved if I Honestly, say so. Honestly, he's but, doing great. Yeah. So... Moving on down to our next and last, or uh, last but definitely not least, we have Ninja Pyro. Of course, look at him. He's so focused. So focused. Absolutely so focused. <laughs> He's in the zone. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and take it back on to where we can see <laughs> the full team here. I believe their coach just, you know, had that conversation with them, getting them ready uh, for this great match against Converse. So let's go ahead and switch it back on over to us, if we may. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> Or if possible, or we could just, or we could well, just stare at them. Honestly, we could just stare at them. Yeah, we go with little creeps here. <laughs> yeah, no, but yes, let's go ahead uh, and go through rundown. Paula, what are your levels of knowledge on Overwatch? You can be as honest as possible. Honestly, I just know there's tank support and yeah. attackers. Okay, and that. sure. <laughs> and that there are just, I guess, certain ways to earn, I guess, points or in a way to win each game. Because mm -hmm. I know, like, sure. gosh. No, don't worry. We're here to guide you. We're here to guide Literally, you. Literally, it's like how I explain the one where you capture a point. It's just like capture the flag almost. <laughs> Koth, king of the hill. Okay. So there's okay. one. Yes, there's the one uh, where both teams fight to earn 100% on two uh, designated points. And that one mm -hmm. is king of the hill. Of course, then we do have push, which push. isn't necessarily mm -hmm. liked by the community i specifically <laughs> i played it the other day mm -hmm. yeah it's okay it's pretty mid but right. uh, mm -hmm. that's about it and then of course there are uh, a few others there there's obviously push where you push the carts uh to different checkpoints i believe we might actually see uh quite possibly i want to say uh, a game three from both teams here hopefully hopefully, hopefully. Uh, but yeah no <laughs> uh just a couple of things here i mean what are your knowledge on uh, some of the overwatch uh characters I don't know. I've None, been playing maybe? a lot I, I of know. more support that I have, like with attack, like with attack or sure. even tanks. But mm -hmm. yeah, I've played a lot more support. <laughs> okay, sure thing. So you, you definitely have some. Uh, you definitely have some hours under your belt. This is the way. Yeah. Play, right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I definitely uh, look. This is why I'm the shoutcaster. Look, I'm not. I'm not gonna lie to you. I got a baby about a hundred hours, and I'm gold. <laughs> there you go. So mm -hmm. yeah. So on from that, let's go ahead and talk about uh, some of the characters. Though some things I really notice on who is strong right now. I believe we're actually about ready to start nice. our first game, and it's going to be on Oasis. So yes, we're going to definitely uh, get right into king of the hill so this is definitely going to be a great first game i can already feel it i think something just fell back there but i do not know it's what it <laughs> sounded like but yes going on i'm curious to know what we're going to see i believe uh, if we go ahead and talk about our supports too Mitsunova nova right. and orsonix definitely like to play the mercy the anna gotcha. lucio even yeah. from orsonix too so uh i'm curious to know i do know that a uh, personal favorite of anna i think it just has great healing has 
great team fight ability too uh then we get to our dps it's kind of all around i'm definitely kind of 50 50 i really don't care what my <laughs> dps go as long as they can land their shots that's right. definitely important <laughs> so i believe we're already going to see a bastion come in from ninja pyro love to oh, see amazing. it bastion's little rework when overwatch 2 first release was definitely a shocker so uh yeah i believe we have uh, a reinhardt a bastion a kiriko and anna and i'm looking for that last one there and a lucio so uh, yeah, and then from the side of Converse, we do have uh, a Cassidy, a Baptiste, a uh, Sombra, Lucio, and an Orisa. So yeah, this is definitely interesting as we can see. I am also crew pressing shift, just going right in. I believe MWSU will be looking for high ground here, trying to beat Converse to it. Ninja Pyro Ooh, already managed nice. to find one elimination there. Oh, look at this. This is so good. Just face Get checking. <laughs> Face checking the Baptiste, a grenade hop over towards the dome in the middle. And it seems that MWSU is contested though, one to one. It's all Two gonna to be whose now. tank goes down first. Oh wow, look at that. Jay already managing to find a shot onto the Cassidy, taking him down. Lucio finding the elimination onto J.O. though. It seems that we're at a little bit of a standstill here. Right. The only difference though is that MWSU is going to lose Ninja Pyro. They have their support still standing. If they can keep this Reinhardt alive, they will actually win. Uh, I want to say win this fight here, but no, I don't think their teammate's going to be able to uh, necessarily regroup fast enough from their respawn. So, after a great fight, a long standstill, it seems that Converse will go ahead and take the point for now. As you can see, it's already building up there. Plenty of time, though, still. I mean, after that long fight, I definitely have some high hopes here, so... Continuing on now, J.O. looking to do some poke damage. <laughs> trying to take out that Baptiste, you know. One of the definitely important things that, uh, to know in Overwatch 2 right now is just numbers and how uh, important they are, right? So as we can see, Orion actually manages uh, to grab J.O. Actually managed to find the double kill onto the Kiriko too now. So as we can see, in a three versus five situation, MWSU uh, will go ahead and fall here once again. Converse now managing to find themselves at about 35% on the first map here, the first point. Oh my. <laughs> yeah. No ultimates yet from the side of MWSU, but they're no. slowly building upwards. Kiriko actually manages to grab her ultimate. Yep. J.O. at 86%, now 90, and here we are. We might see an ultimate gain here. We might see a one team fight, a great Ooh. dragon arrow. No, but great rotations that come out from the side of Converse. They managed to just go ahead and shift on over to the right and sidestep it. Pushing the Orisa into the street! <laughs> Unfortunately gets taken out by a car. Yeah, as we can see here, now they're just trying to push Converse into the street here. Unfortunately, I am also crew. Will go down. Converse. Necessarily, I want to say Converse is like being a wall right now. Just getting those picks as MWSU walks out of their spawn, preventing them from moving forward. But here we are. We got two ultimates now from the side of MWSU. A Lucio ultimate and a Kiriko ultimate. Seems that we also have... Um, actually, we have both Lucio ultimates. One on Converse and one on the side of... MWSU. So here's the Kiriko ultimate. And that's going to go ahead and initiate a push that comes out from MWSU. We might actually see the Lucio ulti here as well. One from the side of Converse and one from the side of MWSU now. However, two eliminations have been found on the side of Converse. So I think they're going to go ahead and win this first point here as MWSU's health bars just trickle down. Very well played. Looked like a strong start from MWSU, but Converse managed to go ahead and turn the tides there but again we still have one map uh, or we still have uh one more checkpoint to go to go ahead and tie it and then it'll be uh whoever wins that uh third uh point there so uh unless converse has other plans <laughs> in store uh and they win this next point as well here right. soon it seems that we're going to go ahead and go over to university Oh, hel hello? Hello? Okay. okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of those settings change, man. We're trying to... Yeah, it's fine. Try fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but I think we're going to have a little bit of the same uh, lineup here. I believe right, we're going to have right, the right. Orisa. Uh, we are switching on over uh, to a Cassidy instead of Hanzo. And then we have a Bastion, Kirko, and Lucio. So only one changed pick. Uh, and I believe uh, both sides will kind of just... Uh, rem or Converse will uh, remain the same there, probably picking up the... Uh, 
the Hanzo instead, though. So, yeah, a little bit of a swap there. Ninja Pyro getting to get down to about 80 HP. I am also trying to stay alive, but unfortunately cannot. And now it's going to be up to oh, MWSU to kind of back <laughs> off here. Yeah, Riss is just be able to is going to be Ooh. able to face check Ninja Pyro. And here we are. Here comes the slam coming in from Converse, trapping MWSU as they go ahead and go up to the stairs that lead towards the high ground. Very unfortunate. Yeah, so MWSU now will be forced to regroup. Still sticking with their current Overwatch characters here. I don't even know why I call them Overwatch characters. What am I doing? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, but moving up here. I am also trying to create some space here. Trying to push Converse back to their point. It's going to need a little bit of pocket healing here, though, in order for mm -hmm. them to stay alive and keep this sustain going. Sombra is going to go ahead and go invisible and remain inside of the back line. Fortunately, a great dragon arrow that comes from Hammer Hammer Man just to find the triple kill there. Man. Sombra now hacking. I am also Kroot taking out both. I am also Crew and Orsonix there too. Once again, MWSU will need to go ahead and respawn, regroup, and push once more. Ninja Pyro will be switching on over to the Echo. Orsonix now switching on over to Mercy, Mercy. instead of going Lucio. I believe at this point it's just going to be a game of whoever is going to farm their ultimates off of each other. Oh, a great shot coming out from Hammer. We'll go ahead and take out J.O. from 100 to 0. Orsonix trying to push up, keeping up with Ninja Pyro, but both of them are going to go down. As we can see here, we might see a Kiriko ultimate, or they're just going to go ahead and save it. I am also going down. Converse managing to win another fight. Mm-hmm. Here we are. They're now going to go ahead and push on over towards MWSU spawn here just a little bit. So we can see another swap, except this time it's going to be J.O. switching on over to the Junkrat. Ninja Pyro switching over to the May, trying to kind of see what they can do here to uh, just try, I'm going to say kind of testing out the playing field here, seeing what they can go ahead and do to win a team fight. Ninja Pyro is just going to go ahead and head on over to <laughs> the point, except unfortunately Diva is going to manage to go ahead and recall uh, yeah. their bot there, uh, their mech, and take out Ninja Pyro. And CVU will go ahead and take the first map of the game. Very well played, looked very strong from MWSU, but unfortunately uh, just fell off there just a little bit and seems that Converse took the momentum there. A great shot that comes out from Hammer. Right. Again, this was the triple kill that we saw here. You see MWSU is just a little bit trapped here. Sombra managing to get the hack off, um, I believe, on both Orisa and the Lucio. So once again, very well played uh, by Converse. And we're going to go ahead mm -hmm. and go on to the next map as we get that prepared for. Again, as we saw MWSU, I don't want to necessarily say the, the, the incorrect wording there would have to say they lost hope, but instead it was what can we learn from this and what character Characters can we play in order for us to win a fight? What counters right. who? Who can we go? Do we need to swap tanks off? Do we need to swap DPS off? Do we need to swap healers? And see, uh, as we saw there, there was a whole bunch of swaps there at the end. They just kind of wanted to test the playing field. And so that's exactly what they do, uh, what they did there. So honestly, they gained just a little bit more from that. I believe they're going to be a little bit uh, more prepared for this next game, uh, quite possibly. But once again, CVU Converse, they managed to win that first map. And they are one more game away from winning uh, this series as of right now. Uh, I believe game... What, or, okay, so this is weird. When I say game, I meant... Um, uh, no, game and match. Game, <laughs> game versus match. match. Sorry, yeah. English is completely off. So yeah, they're going <laughs> to win good. this. If they win this next game, they go ahead uh, and win 2-0 uh, and oh against MWSU. And then we have, of course, we have another game at another match at 4 of uh, mm -hmm. uh, MWSU, I believe, uh, going up against uh, Florida Southern College. So, of course, uh, that'll be, I believe, at 4. So, yes, uh, at 4. Yeah, but anyways, back to this game. It was very interesting to see, though, uh, just how amazing the shots were uh, on the side of Converse. So, uh, uh, one thing I also like to bring up here, too, is how can you beat that Hanzo? That Hanzo had an amazing shot with that Dragon Harrow and immediately took yeah. out Cassidy and took out two more uh, from the side of MWC. And that's probably why we swapped on over uh, <laughs> to a May, I want to say, because that would have definitely won uh, a team fight there. Um, 
considering, you know, uh, with May, you know, if everybody's in that AOE, everybody freezes and you get a couple eliminations there and it's an insta, uh, an instant um, one team fight, uh, unless Baptiste maybe use as well, but of course I'm sure MWSU would have taken out the well there uh, too, but uh, of course that is a hypothetical. I believe the next match is, next match is going to be um, hybrid, where you're going to go ahead and capture the point and then the point turns into a cart, push the cart, but that's going to be yep. on Blizzard World, one of my favorite maps, simply <laughs> because there's just a lot of World of Warcraft references Again, one of my favorite games, but um, yeah, I believe uh, both teams are preparing right now. So uh, we're going to get ahead uh, and get that ready check in there too. So Paula, I'm going to go ahead and give you the question while I take a yes. little drink of water here. <laughs> uh, what did you think of that last game? What are your reactions? What are your emotions? Tell me what you got. I don't know. I just really felt like they just had no opening to make those kind of pushes sure. towards them. And so that, mm -hmm. that like... When we saw in the second game or match, whatever, that they were just switching it up, trying to see how each and their every character could like feel and attack and contest to their <laughs> their own characters on mm -hmm. Converse. Sure. Yeah, no, one, another thing, uh, going off of what you said, again, those numbers are really big, especially when it comes to the game of Overwatch. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was the same in Overwatch 1. You'd get an elimination, and you have to keep that momentum up, right. take out a couple more people, you win the next fight, either or. But yes, no, in Overwatch 2, again, 5 versus 5. Let's say you lose your tank. Well, after you lose that tank, that's very important because a tank is kind of that wall, that the mm -hmm. thing that keeps that team together, yes. you know. But, um, you know, you lose the tank, you lose the fight. But again, uh, it's all – okay, so I'm going to double back there. It's all about those numbers. You lose <laughs> the support, you're now down to support, you're down healing. It's going to be up to that support. But right. it's literally just all momentum-based. You have to be able to get elimination after elimination after elimination. And mm -hmm. as we saw, every single time a fight started from Converse, they would they would find that elimination and they would go off it. As we saw in one of those fights, they were pushing up towards the point – uh, Hanzo managed to find uh, an elimination onto our Cassidy, right? And then on from that, uh, that's when the uh, team fights would usually just trickle down. But it's always about getting into that back line, too. Again, taking out the healers is probably way more important uh, than right. taking out the tank. You don't want to waste uh, any of your... I'd say ammo, but there's really no yeah, ammo no. maximum. I mean, you <laughs> no. have in, unlimited ammo. But um, you don't want to waste uh, any shots that you could be taking onto that back line. One thing that we did see uh, with MWSU going up against the University of uh, West Georgia, I believe it was, uh, mm -hmm. of against UWG. Uh, mm -hmm. I'll just use that term. Um, it was literally the tanks would just run past each other to see who could get into their backline first yeah. and find those, you know, important eliminations. And so uh, that just shows that, uh, once again, it's just whoever finds those eliminations first, chances are they're going to win uh, the team fight unless you have, like, a game-saving ultimate like yeah, May definitely. or someone who can actually stall out. You know, Mercy has her ultimate. Mercy uh, recently, I want to say, got nerfed but buffed at the same time. You know, yeah. she's able to have a lot of healing okay. if she uses her Valkyrie ultimate, and that can honestly <laughs> turn a team fight around if they are down a healer. So, uh, anyways, on from that, I believe we're almost about ready to get into Blizzard World here. I'm very excited. Do you have yeah. a favorite map by chance? We'll go ahead and have some fun questions here. <laughs> no clue yet no clue no i love no Blizzard. but they, but like the map seem really cool i like it i enjoy it mm -hmm. yeah no it's okay it's all fun and games till i go bring back two cp <laughs> <laughs> no but anyways yes as we can see here looking around at blizzard world look at this cinematography absolutely Ooh. amazing cinematography <laughs> all right let's go ahead and take a look at our lineups here we got 10 seconds before the game starts from the side so for people watching, possibly on those lower <laughs> lower uh, video qualities too, CVU is yellow, <laughs> MWSU uh, is red. So uh, mm -hmm. not to be confused uh, at all. So it seems that uh, MWSU is attacking, and they're going to go under from below. So we can see we have a soldier and a widow. Zenyatta Ana and a Doomfist on the side of Converts. Going to be whoever gets these first couple of eliminations here. Still Kiwi manages to find one onto Orsonix. Orion finds one onto Meteor Nova, and MWC was now down both supports. Oh, no. Again, another example of how supports are very important. MWSU will already be forced to back off. A very good push, but unfortunately just was not executed um, with the eliminations there. So, yes, mm -hmm. on respawn now, MWSU regrouping. And MWSU does have Reinhardt, Hanzo, Bastion, Baptiste, and 
Lucio. So almost kind of a mirrored play there. Hammer definitely looking to try and get uh, a nice play of the game there on Widow. MWSU trying the same strat again as they go ahead and push forward. Hammer managed to go ahead and find an elimination onto Ninja Pyro. I think this is a little bit of a missed position here, though. Mitya Nova manages to find an elimination onto Chance. That's go. a very good pick right there. As we can see, Converse does have the high ground. I am also crew will be looking for some heals here. They have to try and find a push here. Tool unfortunately gets picked off by Orion. Pushing up now is I am also crude. However, he does have. Oh no, he's gonna get taken mm. out there. Scratch that last common. <laughs> yeah. So here we are. MWS will be forced to go ahead and back off. They almost had that push there. Seems that all they do, they do have uh, quite a little bit of time here, though. They have maybe time for maybe about three more fights, but in one of those three fights, they're going to have to try and capture that point, trying right, to push forward right. again, try and take the momentum away from Converse. Ana still on the high ground. I am also crewed. Shield up. Tool lit will go ahead and manage to find the elimination onto the Widow. And now, as you can see, both teams are down a DPS. It's going to be up to MWSU to try and keep pushing forward. Orsonix managed to go ahead and find that elimination on Z Ooh. Zanyada. Ninja Pyro with the go. double kill managed to find one on the Sombra and one on the Ana. <laughs> Doomfist left remaining, and that DPS is going to be very important here to try and push him off cart. I believe Doomfist just said see ya and managed to just go ahead and walk away there. That's what we like to see. Nope, he's back in the back line. Unfortunately, Ninja Pyro goes down. One DPS standing on the side of MWSU, but two are down. From the side of Converse. So, yes, there we go. They're going to go ahead and capture that first point there. Now it's going to be up to MWSU to keep pushing the payload again. Keep mm -hmm. taking that momentum. What a Ooh. shot that comes out from Tulit. Can he go ahead and find the next Ooh. one? Yes, he does. A double kill. Can he find the triple? Sombra's going to go ahead and teleport away. There we go. Once again, MWSU showing hope, keeping that momentum here. They know what's on the line. They don't want to go out without showing a fight. Right, right. As we can see, a couple of swaps here. We have a swap on over to the Roadhog instead of the Doomfist. Ninja Pyro managed to go ahead and find one of the supports here, trying to land their shots. Tool lit has Dragon. I am also crew managed to take out what seems to be the Roadhog. Somebody needs to go ahead and heal Tool lit here. He's going to go ahead and walk out of the well, healing all around, coming out from the Baptiste. Mitya Nova. Showing that small hidden pocket pick of the Baptiste. A great hack coming out. Our great ultimate coming up from the Somber Hero. Managed to go ahead and hack what seems to be four. And Converse will now win this next fight. But they managed to push that car almost to that first checkpoint there. Mm -hmm. Looking on high ground here is Orion and Hammer. MWSU regrouped now. They've got to manage to try and get on top of that high ground. Pretty sure Roadhog will be looking for a little bit of a flank play here. MWSU going in from the right side. Tool it. Unfortunately, yeah. getting caught out there by what seems to be the Sombra. Here comes the Genji Blade coming out. Can we manage to find an elimination here from Ninja Pyro? No, unfortunately, no. gets hacked and gets taken down. MWSU, though, managed to go ahead and push that point for free. A little bit of a distraction play coming out from that Ninja Pyro there. Definitely comes in handy. Now hacked, Mitino will go ahead and move their way back towards I Am Also Crew, trying to regroup. Orsonix, unfortunately, gets hooked there. Now it'll be up to Mitino to try and do a little bit of DPS. MWSU slowly, or they almost managed to make them, or almost managed to find that first checkpoint once again. Right. Blizzard World is a little weird. Instead of the usual three checkpoints, they have one for the capture and then... To, oh, you know what? I might actually just be wrong. I just might be hybrid. <laughs> Anyways, MWSU will go ahead and be grouping up here. They do have a lot of distance here that they can work with. Got to watch out here. Ninja Pyro, the Symmetra turrets. As we can see, Sombra is now on top of Ninja Pyro. Can they find the elimination? Chance managing to take out Ninja Pyro there. Definitely very strong. I am also crew managing to take out Chance, and now it'll be there up to go. MWSU to push forward. There we go. I don't believe we have a Nano here, though. Purple from both, or a on a grenade. We'll go ahead and make <laughs> both sides purple. I am also crew trying to do as much damage as possible. Unfortunately, gets trickled down there, though. Quick Z. 
with a double kill. Mm -hmm. And MWSU with 35 seconds remaining have to group up and try and touch that point to get to overtime. They could possibly do it. I am also getting hooked there. A great headshot that comes out from Tulit. Oh, great lineup there. Could have had it. Have to try and grab the supports. Right. And here we are. This is where we might actually see the... Oh, it seems that we actually managed to nano the Bastion. And so MWSU will push forward. You got to use that ultimate. Unfortunately, Tulik gets taken out there. That's an ultimate we are going to miss here. They're pushing the cart. What? Okay. what? Okay. Well, I could have sworn that they were on cart, but I guess not. MWSU will only push it to, uh, s or just uh, kind of creep up, <laughs> barely up to right. uh, that first point there. I could have sworn that they were on it, but maybe mm -hmm. that's just me. Uh, but anyways, that <laughs> will be the round. Mm -hmm. I'll go ahead and reset here. So now MWSU will be defending and Converse will be attacking. I'd have to say a Ugh. great round against mm -hmm. Converse that comes right. out from MWSU there. So now, again, great cinematography as we wait. Got about seven seconds till we see who is playing what on each side there. I think we might see another Reinhardt come out from I Am Also Crew. Oh, no, the Orisa. As we can see, the Ramatra, the newest character from... Or the newest tank character in Overwatch 2 right now. I think a drink. <laughs> You're good. Woo. Yes, as we can see here now, MWSU manages to... Oh, they're going Torbjorn. All right. So, yes, we have Orsinix, Mitsu, and Nova. They're playing Zenyatta, Baptiste, Ninja Pyro, Tulit, Torbjorn, and Hanzo. And then now instead of the usual Reinhardt pick, we have I Am Also Crew playing Orisa. A couple of friendly waves here, as we can see. <laughs> And from the side of Converse, again, they have Ramatra, Kiriko, Lucio, Widowmaker. And now they're switching on over to the Pharah. This is definitely going to be interesting here, too, because we know that uh, that turret from Torbjorn can actually take out the Pharah here. Anyways, here we are. MWSU trying to remain on to high ground, except Kiriko seems to be on the flank trying to take out Tulip. Got to keep I Am Also Crew alive, stuck in that small little space. We might see an elimination come out here from the Lucio and the Farah. Yes, we do. A misposition coming out from Orson. It's a little bit too far pushed up there. Going to be grounded by the Ramatra. Orion still pushing forward. Managed to go ahead and find an elimination. I think MWSU will go ahead and fall onto or fall off this first point oh, here. No. I think they're going to go ahead and let Converse grab that first point, and now they're just going to have to try and defend the push. As we can see, MWSU still has a little space to work here. Mm -hmm. Trying to create space here will be Ramatra and the Farah. Tulet trying to hit the Farah. Doesn't quite seem that the shots are hitting. Right. Curious to know what he was taking damage from. I couldn't quite tell, but it could have been, you know, some fair yeah, shots yeah. there. I am also crew <laughs> trying to push four now, trying to push them off the high ground. As we can see, Ninja Pyro on that bastion, trying to find elimination. Managed to go ahead and find one, but gets taken out by out. the mm -hmm. Ramatra. Ramatra is actually in a little bit of a bad position right here, though, <laughs> as Sombra was on the flank, but Ramatra is going to go ahead and get taken there out here. Now the question is, can they go ahead and push up and stop that singular person on the cart? Got to try and stop that cart push. Any little space that Converse can push up the cart here will definitely be worth it trying to Trying to defeat MWSU here. I am also crew. Need some healing as they are on the low ground. Oh, I believe I am also crew. Just getting taken out there. A little bit of a misposition. Accidentally goes into the building. Mm -hmm. Mitianova with the ultimate. And go ahead and regroup with their team here. Trying to counter the Ramatra. Ramatra gets kicked off. Orion there with the heals though. And no, I think this go ahead and be a lost fight. Unfortunately, not in favor of MWSU. Trying to regroup for one last fight now as I am also Kroot has almost has their ultimate. 
Oh, unfortunately, cannot touch the point, yeah. though, in the best of three series. Converse <laughs> will go ahead oh my. and win. Mm -hmm. But a very well played, a good try by MWSU. We got play of the game coming in from Chance here on Sombra. It might have been the four person hack. Let's go ahead and see it here. Jumps off. There it is. Yep. Managed to go ahead and find one. Yeah, managed to take out both supports there. Finds one DPS and forcing MWSU to back off there. That was right. just a one fight. Very well played. And I think on that note, we should go ahead and end the stream. And we're going to go ahead and prepare for our 4 p.m. 4 p.m. game against Florida Southern College. So on that note, Griffins, thank you so much for watching. We love to see the support. Paula, any last words? No, but <laughs> good luck to Converse in the future. Yeah, all righty. Well, again, once again, thank you. We're going to go ahead and end. And always remember, go Griffs. Have a good one. <laughs>